one of the things uh, that I see that um, a huge percentage of practitioners do uh, badly is that they have static views onto the market. We will see going through these different graphs that markets are implicitly dynamic. Having to model something dynamic with something static, it's a huge error or approximation or of approximation and about modeling because we will not be able to um, approximate that behavior that will make us iterate or even evolve onto the trading decisions of our trading algorithm. So just starting from the very first principles, we have here a price series that we have converted onto a return series. And it's really transparent to just look at this graph and see how, depending on the look-back period we actually use to create that distribution of returns, that look-back period will generate different distributions uh, implicitly comfort confirming that hypothesis that we settled just some seconds ago about that markets are dynamic implicitly. So it is really crucial for me to make uh, a huge focus onto this point because as we can see in this graph, if we just take this look back period to get that distribution of returns, I'm sure that you will find and you will see here that on some periods of time, we might have lower variance that compared to others that are much more variant finally. So as we are accustomed to, uh, and as I said, this is a great percentage of retail and professional traders or managers that at the end of the day have this static view onto the markets, fixing parameters, fixing variables, and not being able to accomplish that evolutive and dynamic behavior that markets have that they end up creating strategies that are not robust, that are short-term lived, and that generates a problem because they end up being in the same cycle of research and they are not uh, going out of it because they don't return to the fundamental ideas that we will be tackling during this series. And this is one of them. The idea of that markets are dynamic and we could also think about why those markets are these markets are dynamic. Uh, the markets are the interaction of the market participants and our systems. So on that sense, what we end up seeing is that that dynamic behavior is the consequence of the interaction of the participants and the, that negotiation that it's undergoing onto each and every market. What we have created here that may be obvious to uh, most of the people seeing this video is that we have created that returns graph from a quantitative perspective, not just to normalize that returns compared to these prices that we have here, but, just, but to also create a stationary time series, which are series that will be much more useful for our modeling techniques and will be much more mathematically uh, tractable on, for the statistical methods that we will use in the following videos to create those models. So from that standpoint, we can end up going on to creating those Gaussian distributions that will end up being or having different parameters as the mean or as the variance. Uh, but finally, one of the uh, well, I want to conclude with a point on why markets might be simple or complex. We have that dichotomy on our minds constantly because we consider that predicting markets, approximating markets, or even modeling markets is complex. But at the same time, when you realize that markets have that dynamic behavior intrinsically to them due to the fact that they are systems and that the market participants interact between one another, we, met, we are able to jump from that complexity onto creating models that once that we have that dynamic idea on mind, 
we can understand that those principal or fundamental components don't change. Markets will continue to be dynamic during the years, but we need to approach them, obviously, as we see here and as we have seen here, on a totally different way to be able to approximate that behavior and approximate that evolution that we, they will undergo. And one of the key hints that I can give you prior to getting onto more complex examples and code or, or methods is that the, um, that dynamic behavior is also ever-changing, okay? It's not just that the markets are dynamic, but that dynamic uh, intrinsics are changed, constantly changing. So one of the things that we will be um, tackling with is to create meta models to be able to approximate that changing dynamics in those in that dynamic behavior of markets to be able to accomplish and to make a more general model that will be able to be uh, more robust onto the future and also uh, generating more alpha and being able to create it uh, onto the fundamentals and be to and being able to extrapolate that onto even different assets. So please stay tuned and in the following video, video we will be talking about the optimal approach to the markets and we will be commenting not just those regime shifts and how to approximate them, but also which are the other components that are lagged onto creating a robust strategy.